Hey everybody, naturalist David Mizajewski with the National Wildlife Federation back with Jim Carpenter from Wild Birds Unlimited. And today we're gonna to be talking about setting up a bird feeding station. So let's get right to it. We've All got right. this great poll here. Tell me about why it's important to feed birds. I know you kick off your book, The Joy of Bird Feeding, with a whole section on, on feeding. So why is that important? Well, there's a lot of reasons to feed the birds. Some are just to help birds, wildlife in general, and some of it just comes from the personal joy of feeding the birds, because every time you walk by a window, look outside, something's different is happening every minute of the day, every day of the year. Yeah, and actually, I think for me personally, I wanna make sure that I'm helping the birds, right? We know there's some scary numbers out there about the decline of birds all across North America, and creating a wildlife habitat garden and getting it certified is one way that everybody can make a difference. And putting out a feeding station like this is not only gonna help the birds, but it's gonna help give people a great opportunity to see birds up close and personal in one specific spot in their yard. And I think that's kind of awesome. Well, at Wild Birds Unlimited, we're happy to be working with National Wildlife Federation because it's kind of like, if you've gone to the work of creating a wildlife habitat, why not be rewarded? That's right, and yeah. And get it certified that you've done a great job. Well, one of the things that we say at National Wildlife Federation is that wildlife habitat gardens are for wildlife, but they're also for people. Absolutely. And again, I think a feeding station is a great kind of people spot in the wildlife habitat garden because it's gonna attract birds to the same spot every single day for you to see and enjoy. We've got all sorts of different feeders up here. I really like this hopper feeder, but you know, I did spill some seed when I was filling it. So I'm actually really curious about that, that tube over there because it looks like it's just a solid block of seed. Right? That's right. For the same amount of food that goes into both of these feeders, this probably lasts about six, seven times longer because it, the birds have to grab each little seed off and you get to watch them longer because they're sitting here grabbing it off. And less mess. So right? it's less mess, it's very convenient. Uh, and uh, yeah, you could even go into it. it takes less trucking and shipping to move it across country, and so it's it's more sustainable. Right, and, and, and one of the things about your seed mixes is that they're custom blends, and you're only using seeds that the birds actually like to eat. There's no Bro, filler there's in there. There's no fillers. I mean, and check this out. I mean, I want to eat this. I would eat that too. <laughs> so that yeah. one has uh, sunflower seeds, tree nuts, uh, fruit pieces, and so the birds you bring in, the greater diversity of foods, the greater diversity of birds. Right, and you know what, that actually really underscores a really important point here is that birds naturally find food out in the environment from the native plants that are out there. So the seeds, the nuts, the berries that the plants are naturally producing, that's the, the natural way to feed birds and also the insects that those plants support. But again, a feeding station like this can really supplement that and again, bring the birds right to one particular spot in your yard where you can see and enjoy them. And when you provide those natural forms of food, supplement with feeders, that is one of the four habitat components that all wildlife need. They're food, water, cover, places to raise young. And if you provide those four things and you commit to maintaining your yard in a natural, sustainable way, and by the way, buying seed blends that don't waste and that are feeders that are made out of recycled materials can help you do that. Those are the five things that you need to do if you wanna get certified wildlife habitat status from the National Wildlife Federation for your own yard or garden space. So you go into a Wild Birds Unlimited store and our certified bird feeding specialist can help you figure out what best to do in your yard. And so if you wanna find out more information on how you can participate, go to the links below and you'll find out everything you need to know.